Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm here with some legend gameplay on Card Fight Vanguard Zero. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to open, I think I have 13 or so packs, so I'm just going to open those up. Yeah, alright, let's get into it. Let me get my headset on so I can hear what we're hearing. Um, now, what I want from this is, I want one higher paired razor custom and one perfect razor, if I could get one of each. Okay, we got Belcosity Dragon. Alright, come on. I have a feeling I might get one, and when I get one, the other one I'm probably just going to craft. Even though right now I don't have enough for the uh, perfect razor. Okay, that, those three packs, I only got one decent item, and I got some stuff for Nova Grappler. If I get duplicates for Nova Grappler, that's completely fine also. Oh, oops, wrong one. Alright, nine packs here. Yeah, we had 12 packs. I saved them up. You get a pack every time you get up in, uh, up in the Legends, so I'm Legend 3 right now, so I got three packs just from that. Come on, give me at least a triple from this one. One triple. Okay, confirmed uh, double, but I've seen triples in these. Okay, I don't even care about Bermuda. I, I literally would, like, just don't give me any Bermudas, and I'd be cool with that. Oh, confirmed triple. Confirmed triple. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm going to go around it. And, ooh, Sukiyomi. Now I have one Amaterasu and one, uh, and I have one Amaterasu and I have one uh, Sukiyomi. I mean, the card's good, but I'm not using OTT anytime soon, so hopefully I'll use them in the future. I don't know. I Honestly, the, the Tsukiyomi deck is pretty good, but it isn't something I would really want to use. Okay. Nothing again. Come on. Give me High Powered Razor Custom. Bari. Alright. It's not bad. Even though I think I... I think I have all four, but then I have the, uh, but one of them is the, uh, the SP, so now I have five Baris. <laughs> Alright, one more pack. I just need one. Oh, ooh, two triples. You know what's funny? After I did the mass pack opening, the 100 packs, I opened four packs afterwards. I grinded them a little bit, and the first pack had a Dragonic Overlord, and then the second one had, ooh, Death Army Lady. I don't use them anymore. Um... One pack had a Dragonic Overlord, and the other one had an Assure Kaiser. So now I have three Assures because of that. Oh, and we get... I mean, I got three triples. I mean, two triples. I'm happy, but, like, it's three triples I'm not going to use anytime soon. So, all right, I'll take it. All right, let me do a quick uh, showing of my deck because I want to make sure you guys know. This is what I got to Legend with. I got to, I think it was... I got all the way up to A1, no, I got up to S rank with Kagero. Kagero was, I used Kagero for the higher ranks. Um, I used Kagero for like A2, A1, and all the way up to S. I did a little bit in S, I didn't get very far, and then the new update came the next day. And then I got the new cards with uh, Nova Grapplers, and I went and used that. So right now I'm running a Razor deck, show it off a little bit here. So basically my basically how this deck works if i don't get at least perfect razor or sure kaiser for my vanguard i'm uh, there's almost no chance i'm gonna win unless i get super lucky with triggers so basically my main run is perfect razor obviously for most nova grappler decks just the two critical you get with it is just insane i actually am not running four trans razors because the death army guy has gotten me so many wins that i wanted to keep him in here i didn't keep death army lady because they really they're not that useful because they don't stay on the field because they get taken out because they're used as guards um now this is my issue i have three of the uh, high powered razor customs when i want four um and i only have three of these i also have three of the assures and three of the i forget what this card's name is all i know is it's a triple it's not really that good but i just keep it in there because there aren't many car cards that are that good and then the other four i keep these in because now there are so many 11ks that it's hard to like get that first attack in so i kept him in because then i basically get a 13k attack i got my four twin bladers obviously razor customs which razor custom really isn't that good but i just keep it in because it's a razor and because its effect is pretty good for the first round uh the first ride uh trans razor king of sword i I kept these in because the two counter blasts you get with the perfect razor, I kept them in to try to like balance it out a bit, but we'll see. I got from S to Legend 0, Legend 1, Legend 2, and now I'm at Legend 3. Um, if I get two or three, I think it's three wins, I think I'll be Legend 4. Right, so as you can see, I'm Legend 3. Um, I would love to get to like double digits this, uh, this, I guess you can call it season, I don't know. Yeah, so the hand is not great, like... 
the the fact that I have a bunch of razors in it's good, but a good hand is starting with perfect razor, razor custom and high powered razor custom, or trans razor and or I forget what the other one is. As a star okay, this hand's pretty trash. Uh okay, I'm gonna ride razor custom. Uh oh. Oh I I'm not even thinking right now. I can get two attacks in if he doesn't pull trigger. That's the one thing about this, is that the triggers are so easy to get, it messes up my, like my double attacks. Luckily, that time I'm good. But the one thing that is really nice is when they ride a 9k, and then I go and ride High Powered Razor Custom, and then I'm able to get that attack 100% in, like there's no way of not getting in, because I use one other attack, and then I use High Powered Razor Custom, and then if they pull a trigger, then I just use Battle Razor as support, and then even if I, get a tr even if I don't get a trigger, it's still going to hit. So, basically I've been just trying to think of any strategies possible. Oh, and he already messed up his Blau thing, and that's why his attack's only 7,000. The one thing I don't get, why does everybody always attack the grade 1s? Like, I put a grade 1 in the front row, they always attack that instead of the, the Vanguard. Like, he could have gotten two attacks in on the Vanguard that time, but instead he went for the rear guard. I don't know. I mean, this time it actually might hurt me because I don't have any grade 1s, but usually it doesn't hurt me at all. Usually it's, like, it helps me. Oh, and we pulled Perfect Razor. Okay, that means I'm definitely riding Trans Razor. I hate riding him because of the 7k power, but it's always good for the next turn. Uh, got a complete guard in that. Yes. Alright, we're going to hope for no triggers here, and we're going to call both of these guys. And I'm going to... Actually, I'll wait with that guy till the last one. Trans... Alright, if he doesn't pull a trigger... If he doesn't pull a trigger, I'll be able to get two attacks in, plus the attack on his rear guard. And he pulled the trigger. That's just my luck. I should have been expecting it, and I was, because... The fact is, I don't think he's pulled the trigger yet. At least we'll get the rear guard out, um, and then he'll have two attacks he'll have to hit. The thing is, I actually played that pretty poorly because he's going to have grade threes, and he's definitely going to be able to fill up all of his rear guards. Because kind of one of the biggest things you want to like go for in this game is them to get their vanguard attack on a rear guard because you don't, they don't have enough attacks. But I didn't play that that well. It'll like go to the middle or something. Random... Okay, that was very random, but all right. He has, he definitely has two twin bladers in his hand. Or, no, he doesn't have grade threes. There's no way he has grade threes in his hand. Okay, I should be expecting a mass amount of triggers. All right, I gotta kill triggers, it's really useless. I should be expecting a lot of triggers, and I should be expecting him to have a decent guard in his hand. Okay. I try to like, not predict, but like, see like, because I play so many games, I know what most people do when they like when they can't put a, a uh, what is it called? When they can't put a grade three or a grade two in the front row, and they put their freaking uh, their starter in the front. That usually means that they don't have much in their hand. And that's okay. We're definitely gonna be able to get the double critical and get it through, unless he has obviously the complete guards. So, all right, use this effect. I wanted to say, I probably played 500 matches on this. This is like, I've been playing this it's too much. Let's just say too much. I'm going to call this to this side. Yeah. I just played that wrong. Right, you know what? I'm going to call battle. I don't like attacking with battle razor, so that's why I'm just going to throw it in the soul just for that 26k. Okay, now I'm going to call Ashura here and Perfect Razor here. Okay, so get rid of that rear guard. Now, if I pull a stand trigger, which I have three in my deck, and then I have six draws, and then the, obviously the four heals. Okay, let's attack. I want to at least get that fourth damage in. Hopefully it doesn't pull. Like, what is that? I just just talking about that. I was like, hopefully it doesn't pull heal trigger. It pulls it right off the bat. Okay. I'm really hoping for a stand trigger so I can get rid of his rear guard. I'm definitely, he's definitely going to throw a twin bleeder at this. Yes! Okay, I called two things already in this game, so I'm gonna keep it up. Why not? Ooh, should I take his rear guard or his vanguard? Uh. Really think I should be going for. Okay, you know, I'm attacking the vanguard because I wanna get rid of his last twin bleeder. He definitely at least has one more twin bleeder, so I'm gonna try to get rid of it. And then try to finish him off next turn. We'll see. Then he got a lucky grade one, so he'll be able to get one of my rear guards out. Why would he attack with the... What? He's, he's gonna try to go... Okay, he's trying for my rear guards. Because there's no way he would... If he was trying to finish me, he would go with the rear guard first and then the vanguard, but instead... 
He went with his high powered attack first. And he pulls a double draw trigger, bro. Uh, the, 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 because there's one third of a chance to get a trigger in this game because they made it so there's great ones, twos, and threes, and threes have the triggers. And they're the same amount of each. It makes it so people can pull stuff off like that. Like now he's got a freaking nice hand. Like he probably has two, two twin bladers. Actually, I wouldn't, with his lucky right now, he probably wouldn't have been able to pull another twin blader just because he's already used a lot of his damn luck. I don't know. We'll see. And he's able to stand the Vanguard. That's another, st and I didn't pull a single trigger. Let's keep adding on why why I'm going to lose this. Now, now watch, he pulls a freaking another trigger. Okay, no. If he pulls another trigger, he will not be able to attack with his rear guard with the Vanguard. I mean, it's actually, if anything, it helps me because he would have pulled that if I, uh, if I attacked him. Uh, I gotta finish him next turn or I'm gonna lose. <laughs> He's gonna attack my perfect razor, but whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter what I pull, I'm calling it to the rear guard, and then I'm gonna go at him. Jeez, it's, it's, a, that's a good pull, but I'm like, jeez, because... I gotta pull some wicked crap off if I wanna win this right now. Hmm. Alright. I'm thinking about this strategically. I can attack the Vanguard. Alright, I'm attacking with Perfect Razor, assuming he's gonna have a Twin Blader, and if he doesn't, then I win. If I'm gonna not pull a trigger, bro, he's pulled 10 out of his, he's pulled 10 triggers, I pulled six, and I can't pull a single trigger in the twin drive. Okay. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I gotta attack the rear guard because I gotta stop his attack, even though he's got two cards in his hands, which can fill up the two seer. I think I lost this game. Okay. Nope, knew that wasn't gonna happen because my luck that game was just awful. Alright, let's run sure. Literally the only thing I could. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I can't even hit him with my Vanguard without throwing my complete guard out there. I either gotta go for offense or defense, and I always go offense. So, I'm gonna stick to my gut and go offense. I'll still have a complete guard in my hand. Whatever. Gotta go with my gut here because I either, again, I gotta hold back or I gotta charge and I'm charging. I have the advantage when it comes to damage as well. And also, I'll get two guards out of the next one. So I think I should put myself in a good situation. Definitely if I pull a trigger and there it is. Draw trigger. Oh, yeah. And I got another guard. Nice. I should have given it to the other guy. Whatever. Because if I pull another one, then, yeah. Alright, if he doesn't pull a trigger, it'll be four to one. Yep. I wouldn't be against him pulling a trigger here. Even if it's a... But I remember one time I kept pulling double, uh, uh, grade twos. And this guy kept getting mad because I kept throwing grade twos out and he kept taking them down and it kept happening. And because he was worrying so much on my formation, he wasn't worrying about my damage. I beat him like six to three or something. I did pull a couple heal triggers in that as well. I love I'm not even paying attention that he's probably about to kick my butt. That's good. He only got one damage on. One thing is heal triggers will not be effective whatsoever. And that's going to hurt me unless I pull grade one. These 12Ks are stupid. Okay. I'm going to have to call another. Okay. I have two trans razors, which I'm going to call both of them. Definitely now that I did that. Uh, I need to pull grade one. Oh my gosh. All right, good. Even though I got now, gonna shoot. What do I do here? I don't even have. Dude, I'm so sick of doing this, but I'm going for offense, so I gotta do it. He should be out of grade twos after this. I mean, hopefully, if he's not, I might be in a dire situation at freaking high in the corner. <laughs> no triggers. What am I at? I have six triggers. He has five and now he has six. Ooh, that was a good pull. 
Kind of. Just gonna get rid of my rear guards again, but I'm going for the attack, so let's go. And that's the one thing about uh, why High Power Razor Custom isn't a great card, is because its base power is 8,000. So even 9,000 rear guards, I gotta freaking have a back row unit. And when you're playing against a Kagero deck that keeps throwing your rear guards in the freaking drop zone, then it's just not fun. Okay, well, I'm gonna obviously stand this guy, and I'm gonna give him the power. Ooh. I gotta give the power to him. Would it wouldn't have mattered if I Okay, he should only have one more Bari. Maybe two. Okay, he won't be able to finish me. But I have to pull a card that can attack the Vanguard. That was useless. That would have been a good card to pull. I'll tell you that. Ooh, yes. Okay. I like that. Let's skip the right base. If he pulls a heal trigger here, I'm going to throw something. <laughs> I've gotten mad so much at this game. Well, this game has been so bad for me, too. And I still have somehow almost won. And hopefully I'll win this turn. He has two cards in his hand. If they're both Baris, I might be in trouble if I don't pull trigger. How many triggers do I got left? I got... Three triggers left, and my deck is 13 cards. So it's not likely me pulling one. Ooh, we did pull one! Sweet! Get the power straight to him. Oh, wait, that was, a, that was a mistake. Anyway, whatever. No, actually, no, it wasn't. Alright, the only way he wins is a heal trigger. Yes, 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 yes. I'm, I will tell you this. S rank, I lost probably half my games to six damage heals. But in like A ranks, I didn't, nobody ever pulled any six damage heals. But then I enter S rank in the first three games I lost because of six damage heals. Even though some of them, they pull a six damage heal, I still need to survive the next turn. And then they go and they somehow end up pull through and yeah don't want to ride trans razor okay he's he's at grade one all right if he was at grade two right now like if he got the first turn then i wouldn't have done this yes i needed that now the okay i'm gonna call this over here Ooh, it's gonna be a tough decision if i keep trans razor in the front row Ooh, i could get three attacks if he pulls no triggers and that's what I'm gonna go for. Even though I might lose my left trans razor, I might get three attacks. Woo! We pull the heal trigger. Let's go, boys. Okay. Now the question is. Okay, I'm gonna give it to King because if he pulls a trigger anyway, I was only gonna get one attack. So yes. Wait, does that mean I? Pretty sure that means. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a third attack in anyway. Okay. Jeez, I, I completely freaking brain fart over here and I couldn't remember what the heck I was doing. You know what? Let's look at this. I have a chance to deal him damage three times in separate attacks, which means he would need to pull two twin bladers out of the two cards in his hand. And that just helped me out a lot right there. Oh. I gotta attack him with the Vanguard. I just realized I didn't. My Vanguard isn't that powerful right now, so I'm even if. I need to pull a trigger for both of these to hit, and I didn't pull him. Uh, I would have rather just done my other strategy and get him to two critical. Oh! I'm an idiot. I forgot. He needed a twin blade in the last attack. <laughs> I would have laughed if I won right there. That would have been hilarious because I was just like, oh, I'm an idiot, blah, blah, blah. But actually, that was a smart move because I knew he had twin bladers. I think that was one of the reasons why I actually did the. <sighs> okay, he'll get me a four. Still have the PG, so I might use it next turn because there's, again, he only has a chance of one PG in his hand, and if I can get two attacks through, that means he would need a heal trigger. And how many does he? Oh, uh, he has three heals left. That hurts. He's probably gonna pull one. 
You know, one could be in his hand. Eh. I'm just gonna do my normal strangle like this. Hope he doesn't pull one or have a PG. Oh, he doesn't have a P. What was that card that he didn't play? He could, if he had a grade two, he could have played that. If he had a grade one, he could have played that. Did I just not call that that he's going to pull six damage heal? I need a trigger for this to work. And how many do I have left? Four triggers. Okay. And there it is. Yeah, in your face. Watch he pulls another. If he pulls another heal trigger. Oh my gosh. It's pretty funny how that works. If he pulls another one, it's going to be pretty funny. I would laugh, honestly, because it's just stupid. When I saw the draw trigger, I'm partially colorblind. I thought it was a heal trigger, and I was like, my face. Oh, my gosh. I'm just happy we won. Wait, I'm going to get close to the next. Okay, 68. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end this or if I'm going to grind until I get to Legend 4 and then put it. But if that, if this is, if I'm not going to do that, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe uh, to my second channel. Because I'm going to be posting most Car 5 Vanguard Zero stuff here. And yeah, and uh, smaller openings as well will be adding to that. And basically anything that I don't think is good enough for my main channel. Because I have pretty high standards for my main channel. It definitely when I'm over here. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, now you know that I'm going to be opening 100 Shin Money to Trial Decks on my main channel on the 20th of January. It's going to be from the 19th to the 21st. I don't know the exact ship date because they haven't shipped them out yet because they're getting stock in a different date. I mean, that's basically it for the video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. Hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure to turn on the notifications because I'm going to be posting some pretty nice videos as well as the Bermuda Triangle uh, case opening. I don't know what the prior primary melody or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did like, hit, the, hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye.